Alright, hey guys, what's going on? It's Tyler here today, and today I am back with more Walking Dead Season 1. And this is Episode 5, No Time Left. If you guys didn't see Episode 4, I suggest you go watch that first. And sorry that was so long. I wasn't expecting to be that long, but this one's at least going to be 30 minutes or 25 minutes. Find out. Depends how intense it gets. Previously on The Walking Dead. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Hey, there were some batteries in one of those boxes. Oh, Carly. Here, Miss Carly. I want to find my parents. They always stay in the same place when they go there. The Marsh House? Yes, that's it! You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? We gotta go! <laughs> Miss Chuck already. Why? Clementine? Clementine! Oh, no. Clementine's gone. Wherever she is, I have to find her. I just hope he makes it. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. If this was me asking you for help, would you be there for me? I need your help, please. I'm sorry, but you're on your own on this one. I swear, before this is all over, I'm going to show you I can do something right. Clementine. Ah, right, well, here we go. Let's see what's going on. Vernon, get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here. All I want is the girl. Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt. Clementine, are, are you alright? Where are you? Vernon, you son of a bitch! No, Lee. Who is this? It's not Vernon, if that's what you're thinking. And you should really watch your tone. Clementine's fine. But if I were you... I choose my next words very carefully. Please, don't hurt her! Hurt her? I'm not the one who hurts people. There's an ocean of dead between you and me and her, and if I can thank God for anything anymore, it's that. Just hold on, Clementine. I'm coming for you. This is bad, but we can deal with it together. We're going to need to hurry. How's that feeling? Fine. Don't worry about it. It wasn't a full chomp. No, it wasn't. We don't have a lot of time. We're about to have a lot less. We three will stop them getting in. Lee, find a way out of here.
think it's some sort of spreading device. Grosses me up just looking at it. Looks like a car jack. I don't want to imagine this being used on a body. I'll have these doors open in two seconds. Oh God, it's starting to, he's starting to turn. Or it's starting to infect him. Oh geez, I hope they don't kill him. Episode 5, no time left. Christ, what the hell happened? It's a bite. Well, what can we do? I don't know. Help me move him. Jesus, are you sure this will help? You got any better ideas? Okay, it's now or never. I'm awake! Stop! He's awake! He's awake! He's bitten. We've still got to do something. Do we have to cut it off, though? We're trying to save him. At the very least, buy him some time. But this way? Do we know it works? Of course not. Is there gonna be a lot of blood? There's gonna be a shitload of blood. <laughs> if he dies. Then the rest of us go after Clementine and get the hell out of Savannah. If there's any chance this saves his life, we have to take it. Let's do it. Maybe it'll work. It's a big risk. Yeah. We're down here without a lot of options. Fuck it. Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. Why does Omid have to do I'll go it? As fast as I can. You got <laughs> Oh my god. Try to stay still. <laughs> oh god. I know. <laughs> oh god. He's still alive. Oh, my God. Oh my There's God. his arm. You're alive. It was getting to the point where we figured you weren't coming back. This hurts so goddamn bad. I hope it helps. Do you think you'll be able to travel? You lost some blood. Yeah. The elevator's open. Let's go. I'll bring up the rear. I don't want to bleed on it. No way. 
way. Jesus Christ. Sort of looks like a hospital. Can't really get a good look, though. That is a hospital. Wasn't this city empty not too long ago? Those Crawford bastards did one thing right, I guess. There's thousands. Did they follow us here? It seems like it, but that can't be, can it? That's crazy. They can't track. They just roam. We need to get off this roof as fast as we can. It's not safe down there. We can't just walk through the streets. You planning on growing some wings? It's taking an immense amount of willpower to not make a crack about that suggestion, coming from the one-armed man. That joke will be funnier once we know if this worked. Look, let's get our bearings and see if we can figure out a way to make it across town. Good? Good. I, uh, don't think we can ignore what just happened to Lee. He lost a lot of blood down there. Omid's right. If you see yourself getting woozy or, you know... If it didn't work, just take it easy. Okay. Probably just need to go a little slower. And I know we can't afford dead weight, so... Don't treat me like I am. We won't. Now what? We need to get down there and find a scared little girl. Let's try to get our bearings. What's up over here? Bell Tower. That's what's up. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. That could help. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. No way. It's higher than this roof for starters. You need a hand with that? I got it. Damn it. Oh, shit. The bells. Yeah. Could buy us some time. Draw as many as we can this way. Get down off the roof on the opposite side and bust our asses getting back to the mansion. You shouldn't be the one to go. My leg's feeling better. Let me do it. I'll do it. If we have to decide who takes a risk like this, it should be the guy who's got the least to lose. What's the worst that could happen? I get bitten again? So we're agreed then.
I just hope he doesn't Maybe fall. Maybe you should have someone more able-bodied doing that. You sure you're up for it, Lee? Say that again and you're gonna find out. <laughs> Fair enough. I uh, just hope he. D I just hope don't just don't fall. That won't be good whatsoever. Up, oh, yep. Oh, Something's gonna happen. Jump, jump, ma'am, jump. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy shit, man! Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I was wishing I had my other hand. No shit! Try to find another way out of there? It's locked. Shit. The exit in here's locked! They're coming this way! Tons of them! Jesus! Now get back here! Are you kidding me? Do, do I seriously have to jump? I think I have to jump! There's no way back! Fuck! Be careful! It's not that far, just a little hop. Oh god. Oh god. Here we go. I am so scared. Oh my god. Jeez. Nice. That's gotta now let's get the hell oh out of here. Oh my god. Uh oh, that's not good. That's not good. What the f They fucked us! What? Who? Vernon! He didn't have Clem! So where the fuck is she? With someone else. We're going after her. Fuck! Just. Jesus! Wait, the cancer patients did this? Yeah, they were waiting. Tired of living underground, I guess. They kicked the shit out of me and tossed me in here. Oh my god. Wait, what the hell happened to you? Cut it off. Seriously? Yeah. I lived through it, which is a start. And, well, uh... I thought it might save my life. I was lucky to get bit down on the wrist, far from anything important. But who knows? Jesus. Omid, can you go over the fence and let us into the backyard? We shouldn't be out in the open. Yeah. This is not happening. Everything is so fucked. Clementine is still out there. So we get Clementine, and then what? We get the fuck out of cities. I'm done with cities. We go into the countryside and make a go of it. Yeah, that seems like a good idea to me. Nobody asked you. You just did. Don't get fucking smart with me, Ben. Chill. Do you remember we had a boat? A boat! Everyone keep it together. Nothing has changed, has it? Nothing has changed? I mean immediately. We stay the course. Don't turn on each other. Yeah, chill out, Kenny. We can do this in the yard. 
Ben, I swear to God. What do we do without a boat? Get to the countryside. You dicked around with cities and coastlines and boats too long. Take her out there. Live as safe as you can, okay? Look, I agree with you. I think out in the country is the safest place to be. But you're not dead yet, so put a pin in that, okay? Where the hell do you get off? I'm just saying we should all chill. Not just you. Chill? Lee's bitten and God knows how long he has left. Clementine is who the fuck knows, and we're robbed of the only hope we've had. So? So Lee should have left your ass in Crawford. We got enough problems. Fuck you, Kenny! Whoa. Bam. Oh my god. I am so, so, so sorry about Katja and Duck. I am! And I know I fucked up. But stop pushing me around and stop wishing I was dead! No! You know how they die. You've said goodbye. I never got to see my family, my parents, my little sister. Do you get that? Your family is gone, but at least you had them to lose. I never made it home. They could be alive or dead or walkers or worse, and I don't know. So give me a fucking break. Oh, Ben, I'm... Oh, shit! Here they come! In the house! They shouldn't be able to get into the backyard, right? Maybe not. We can secure this place. Krista. Search the house for weapons. On it. Kenny. Move anything you can up against the doors and windows. That's what I was thinking. Ben. Help Krista. Got it. Omi. What is it? Front doors! <laughs> Lee! Help! Cut their fucking arms off! There's gotta be a knife or something in there! Hurry! Take their goddamn arms off! Now what? This is a big, sturdy house. It'll hold. Yeah, I think so, too. Oh my god, it's Bree. That's Bree. Oh my god. Oh, Bree, I... Nice knowing you. You were nice. But you had to die. Guys, help me with this! Get to the end of the hallway. What do we do now? This will slow him down. We get to the end of the hallway and take a fucking stand. We can't let ourselves get trapped. Let's get as many as we can. When we see an opening, we go for it. How many bullets y'all have? Three. Five. Four. Two. Y'all know where to aim. Get ready. This is like the Western days of the last stand. I'm out! Me too! Fuck! Where do we go? There's no goddamn opening! Up! Here, 
Um, I'm not good with these. You dropped it down there. That could have gone better. Everyone okay? Lee's still bitten. Shut up. Okay. Let's get out of here and keep moving. Kid's right. We gotta keep moving. Think there's any chance we get Clem and catch up to those goddamn thieves? I don't know. Maybe. Well, we're not going out through this window. No latches, no roof access, and 30 feet straight down. Anyone have any ideas? I bet this guy would. He's got a resourceful air about him. Knock it off. Dixon Kent the <laughs> third. Industrial Mead Krista. Just trying to lighten the fucking tone. We need solutions, not stupid jokes. I'm sorry. So no ideas then. <coughs> hey. You're not looking great. And you're warm. Back off. I'm okay. I'm really panicked. No. What did that mean? She's at the hotel where her parents were staying. He hasn't moved her. Yet. Yeah. Yet. We need to start thinking about more than just Clementine when it comes to our urgency. What do you mean? How do we get out of here? That's the whole point. We don't know. Okay, now your life depends on it. How do you get out of here? I don't know. I don't get it. I do. Do you think that worked? I don't know. I hope so. I think we need to have an adult conversation about what happens if Lee takes another spill. Hey, look. We could be looking at a Larry situation here. Who's Larry? It don't matter. He looks fine to me. We don't need to talk about it. I think we do. I said we don't. Guys, I don't know what happened before Omid and I showed up, but we can cross this bridge when we get to it. Lee, I'm not advocating anything here, but how is this not a thing? We're all so worked up about Clementine that we're forgetting what the fuck happened to you. What if it was you, and it was Duck out there? Whoa there, friend. I bet you'd rather stay focused on the problem, not have people turn on you. This is getting out of hand. You're gonna listen to me. We will get Clementine back, with or without you. Because I haven't given up everything to die because we were stupid. that dude's face shut up sweetie look it's corroded to hell what's on the other side of this wall a 30-foot drop no this mansion butts up against the one next door I'll be damned we're not lifers on Alcatraz here we can't spend the next three months digging through a wall if the red This wall ain't shit. Is this really possible? Yeah, we can do this. Okay. We'll work in shifts. Omid, Krista, and I. Lee, you rest. We have to work fast. Sorry. Me too. I get it. Go sit down. I'm glad you told us when you got bitten. It would have been easy not to. Yeah. Well. We probably would have let you go alone if you hadn't told us. Which would have been a mistake. If I were you, I would have been scared shitless. I was. The fucking thing, it, it happened so fast. You ever almost hit someone in a crosswalk? Almost? His license was suspended. Twice. 
just wham. Thing was on me. Never saw it. Like someone in your blind spot. It's so weird. I keep doing a double take on your arm, expecting it to be there. I'm hoping whatever's in their bite is gone too. What do you think the odds are of that? I don't know. I know everyone's wondering. Even if it just slows down the process, I'd be happy. You don't mean that. So when we get this guy, what do you think? We figure out who he is, and why he's doing this. We can rescue Clem, but she won't be safe if this guy's not gonna stop. So, did your crew get into any shit before you met up with us? Is it possible to have survived and not gotten into some shit? And, you know, whatever happens to you... Seriously, can you not talk like that? The entire time we were at the hospital, I could sense you think you're as good as dead. I was bitten, Krista. You cut it off. What good is it to plan around that work? Alright, so guys, I'm, I'm going to end it there. Um, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe if you guys want to see episode 5, part 2. Alright, yeah, so I'll see you guys in part 2. Goodbye!